Hello, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Animals and Names. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Today you're going to see uh, four beautiful animals that are looking for their forever homes. So this is Mandy. She was owner surrendered to us. She is a two-year-old Husky Labrador Retriever mix. Um, beautiful dog, um, very vocal. Uh, a little nervous about being here with the cameras and the lights and everything in this room. Plus she's in the kitty room and one of the things we want to make sure is that she does not go home to a, a, a place that has cats. Uh, she does chase cats and probably other small animals too. So uh, we're going to be showing a cat and a bunny. Uh, you're okay, you're okay. We'll be showing a cat and a bunny next, so um, we definitely want to make sure she's not in the room when they come in. Uh, she was surrendered. The owner was losing their home and uh, could no longer keep her. They, she was going to be homeless. So now, unfortunately, Mandy is also homeless. So we're going to look for a forever home for her that's going to care for her. Uh, we're estimating she's about... I know, I know. Hey, 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 hey. There you go, there you go. She is about two years old. Uh, so Mandy has a lot of energy that she needs to burn out so she's going to want to go on a lot of walks and runs with their new adopters uh, so if you have a home like that that has uh, wants to spend a lot of active time outdoors Mandy might be a great fit for you so come on down to the shelter we'd love to introduce Mandy to you uh, she's a lot of energy a lot of fun uh, but a sweet dog and just needs some addition, additional training uh, to make her a great member of your family so come on down and take a look at Mandy at the Ames Animal Shelter And our next guest today is Avila. Avila was surrendered to us by his owner um, because he could no longer um, be kept in the housing that they had for him. Um, the owner actually surrendered him to us as a girl uh, and we found out that uh, Avila was a boy. Uh, so we had Avila neutered um, as we do with all the animals that leave here at the Ames Animal Shelter. We want to make sure that they cannot reproduce by the time that they leave. Um, Avila is a Netherland dwarf. Uh, we're estimating that he's probably about a year old, uh, maybe a little bit less, so he is a young bunny. Um, and what we always talk to our adopters about with rabbits is that we want to make sure that they live in indoors only um, and that they live uh, uh, in nice uh, setups. Uh, we don't want them to be living outdoors in hutches. Um, with the severe weather that we have here between the severe cold and the severe heat, um, it's just not a safe environment for these guys, and especially a little one like this. Um, Avila is a Netherland dwarf, so obviously a very small bunny here. Um, one of the real things that's really important with the bunnies is you want to make sure that they're getting a lot of their leafy um, green vegetables. So um, it's very important for them. Cilantro, parsley, um, uh, romaine lettuce is very important to their diet along with a little bit of pellets and a lot of hay, pretty much unlimited hay. That's really kind of a main source of their diet and really important for their digestive system. So, um, and you know, there's always a misconception that these guys can survive out in the wild because we have wild rabbits that live out there and they're not the same. These guys have been domesticated. They're not the same. They're not built the same way. Um, so living in the outdoors is not safe for these guys and really want to encourage people to do a lot of research before you consider adopting a bunny. Uh, Rabbit.org is an excellent source. Uh, lots of information there from the House Rabbit Society um, about how to properly care for them, the uh, proper diet to give them, um, even the housing environment too. We also have a pretty uh, um, a good setup here. Um, he's a little sh camera shy so he doesn't want to eat in front of the camera. Um, but we have a pretty good setup here at the shelter that we like to show people and um, try to encourage people to have at home uh, for these rabbits because they are such special little creatures. Um, we want to make sure that they get the best of care and the appropriate diet. Um, vet care um, is extremely important for these guys and knowing the signs of uh, danger if anything appears to be wrong with them medically it's critical that they get to the vet immediately um, because you could have a lot of problems, blockage, different things that happen to bunnies. It's very unique to bunnies. Um, again, they're very delicate creatures, um, but they also, um, you know, they're not recommended for very small children. They can kick pretty hard, um, and with their nails, they can really uh, scratch you. So it's not a, a, a pet that you would want for a first time, um, for the first pet for a child. Um, you, again, you want to do a lot of research. Again, rabbit.org is a great resource for that. 
uh, on the web. But lots of information out there about these guys and how to properly care for them. We also have staff members here that specialize in bunnies and would love to share our information and knowledge with you. So if you're interested in Avila, um, we'd love to uh, possibly find a home for him and get him get him adopted and get him out of the shelter here into a nice warm home. So um, the shelter is no life for them, but it's a good temporary home for them, but it's not their forever home. So if you're interested in Avila, come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter. We'd be happy to introduce you to them. And our next guest today is part of the Larry and Potato team. Um, I know it's strange names. Uh, they came in with those names. Uh, this here is Larry. Uh, Larry came in to us. Uh, he is about six years old. He was surrendered with um, his buddy, um, who is six years old, Potato, and you'll meet him next, solid black. But um, as you can see here, Larry is black and white. He's also polydactyl, so you can see just how big his paws are there. Um, so that just means, polydactyl means he has the extra toes. Um, unfortunately, he was declawed, um, so he does not have any claws on all those extra toes in the front. Um, uh, and that was something that happened before he came here to us. The owner was uh, put into an assisted living facility and um, his sister actually brought Larry and Potato to us uh, to try to find them forever homes because they were without a home and without, without people. Um, so they are both very sweet cats. They've been kind of hanging out here in the, our get acquainted room for the cats since they got here. So they're kind of adjusted to this room well. Uh, I think the lights and the cameras are scaring them a bit right now. but. Um, just both cats are just very, very sweet cats. Um, I have to tell you that all of the staff members are fighting the urge to take them home. Um, as all of us have many animals at home, uh, we don't need to take them home, but they're just probably our favorite cats right now. And don't tell that to all the other animals, but they are our favorites right now. Um, again, Larry, uh, uh, they do need to be adopted together because um, they are very bonded and do spend a lot of time with each other. Um, so to make sure that we can adopt them together, we are um, only charging one adoption fee. So for the two cats who are completely vaccinated, um, have rabies vaccinations, have microchips in them, um, it's only $40 adoption fee for the two cats together. So it's a great bargain um, for some amazing cats here. And I think whatever home they go to, they're just gonna be a great addition to the family. Um, we understand from the sister that uh, both of them were around the grandkids. Um, so had a lot of exposure to kids and were really good with the kids. Um, they've also lived with a very old German Shepherd. So they've been exposed to dogs as well. And uh, even some of the dogs here at the shelter they have met and uh, seem to be fine with. So you wanna make sure of course that you have a, a cat friendly dog, um, but these two would probably adjust well to them. Um, Larry does seem to be a little bit more outgoing when it comes to the dogs, um, whereas Potato is a little not, maybe not as sure about being around dogs. So again, we wanna make sure that it's a, a cat friendly dog um, that they're going to be exposed to because we don't want any harm to these guys Especially since they are both front declawed and they will have no protection. So we want to make sure that um, That they're number one kept indoors only um, never allowed to be outside um, and that uh, You know the dog again if there is a dog in the home that they're going to be friendly because they have no way to defend themselves against a dog if they were trying to hurt them so if you're interested in these two, again, it's gonna be a two for one adoption. So $40 for the two. And uh, next we'll show you Potato. And here is the second addition to Larry and Potato. Uh, this one here is Potato. Uh, Potato is seven years old, so a little bit older, just one year older than uh, Larry. But uh, again, both cats are just as sweet as can be. Um, I just had to get him out from the computer monitor. He was hanging out with the front desk staff and. Uh, just enjoying his time up there, spending time with the people. Um, so again, both cats are uh, 15 pounds, so they're both good-sized kitties. Uh, they could probably afford to lose a few pounds and um, make sure that they're staying healthy and want to work out a plan for them with your vet uh, to make sure that these guys stay healthy and hopefully live very, very long lives with you. Um, so if you're interested in Larry and Potato, again, they do have to be adopted together. We are looking for a forever home for them. Um, that's going to be indoors and they are front declawed. So something you need to know about with these two guys. 
um, if you're interested in meeting the two, come on down to the shelter. We'd love to introduce you to them. Thank you for watching this episode of Animals and Names. Uh, we're glad to show you the four animals that were on TV today. Um, remember, that's just a sampling of the animals that we have available here for adoption at the Ames Animal Shelter. Um, although that is the only dog that we have, so Mandy is the only dog that we have available for adoption that we're taking applications on. But we have quite a few other cats um, and just the one rabbit right now. So come on down to the shelter and just want to say as we start the new year, uh, thank you to all of the volunteers that we have. Uh, all the donors, all the people who support the shelter, and absolutely the adopters uh, that come in and find these uh, beautiful animals waiting for their forever homes. And just a special thank you to all of the staff. I'm so uh, honestly just uh, amazed at the, the quality and the compassion and the care of the staff that I have here at the shelter. Um, we couldn't do the work that we did without them. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for everything that all, everybody does here to support the shelter and support all of our furry friends that are waiting for their forever home. Thank you.